Hey guys, Mike Wolfington with Intellisys here. Joining us on the call is William Rubio, the Chief Revenue Officer at Call Tower. William, thank you for joining us. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate uh, you having us uh, on today. And uh, hello to uh, the entire Intellisys community. Hope everyone's uh, being safe and healthy out there. Terrific, terrific. William, tell us a little bit about Call Tower before we dive in. Yeah, sure. You know, so Call Tower is 100% channel dedicated. We have been uh, for the past 18 years, and we pretty much can serve uh, customers in the business community from anywhere from about 25 users to thousands. It's really kind of a, a big, uh, a big spectrum there, but we can definitely serve a lot of customers. And we've been really considered a pioneer in the UCAS industry because we're fully positioned to actually develop or to deliver, I should say on our three core platforms. We work with Microsoft, we work with Cisco, and then we also have our own proprietary, what we call our CT Cloud Voice, which is based on uh, MetaSwitch, which is our own hosted PBX that we have. And on the Microsoft side, we're able to provide and deliver, not just Skype for Business, which we've been doing for several years, uh, but we're also the first in delivering voice-enabled Microsoft Teams uh, that we've been doing since uh, 2018. So uh, a lot of different uh, platforms that we have there to provide to our customers, which really enables us to provide a full solution uh, to our customers instead of being uh, pretty much single threaded uh, from a platform standpoint. Uh, also with our global footprint, we're in about 70 different countries that we can provide uh, services to our customers uh, overall. And in addition to the UCAS platforms, we also do uh, work with CCAS. We actually have five, nine, uh, we have our CT Cloud Contact Center, which is based on Telex, and also we have our Clarity Connect, which is specific for Skype for Business as a native contact center. And when you really combine all those different platforms together, uh, all residing on Call Tower Connect, which is our admin platform, uh, we're able to really provide a full turnkey solution to our customers, which is what they're looking for, right? They're looking for a solution. We also are a uh, cloud service provider uh, with Microsoft. So we do sell Office 365 as well as SD-WAN and a couple of other solutions. But again, when it comes down to our customers, uh, they want to make sure that they can get an end-to-end -end solution uh, from a provider like Call Tower. Great, great. And what is Call Tower's approach to enabling customers to stay connected right now? You know, it's been uh, an interesting month, right? Uh, I think the beginning of March really kind of changed the, uh, the game plan and, uh, and the settings there for everybody overall. Uh, we've been a little bit ahead of the curve since we are 100% cloud-based. We have been working or providing solutions for a lot of work from home uh, organizations and end users uh, from our inception, all the way going back to those 18 plus years. So what we've been doing is we've been making sure to provide different alternatives uh, to make sure that uh, there's solutions out there that customers could plug and play, whether it's on, on Cisco, on Microsoft, or again, even on our proprietary as well. And we've uh, also providing tips uh, to a lot of our existing customers and even new customers that have been calling us up saying, hey, we need help. How do we do this? How do we enable our, our employees to make sure that they are connected and being able to pretty much work from home just like they were uh, working from an office environment. So there's been a lot of change over the past 30 days and uh, we've been pretty much at the forefront. We actually saw it coming. I think we're about a week and a half uh, ahead of where some of the other folks in the industry are. Uh, and so far the uh, response from our existing customers, our partners and our potential customers has been very positive in our response. Terrific, terrific. And in light of the current pandemic, what is Call Tower doing to enable people to stay connected during the current crisis? Uh, you know, we did a, a couple of different things. Uh, we have a town hall that's going to be coming up now on April 14th, which is going to be a Q&A with myself and uh, with a couple of our training managers as well to really just provide that comfort to, to end users on the questions that they have. How do I set things up at home? How do I make sure that I'm communicating back to my manager, to my employees, staying well connected, right? Staying ahead of that curve uh, is one of the things that we're doing. Uh, the other thing is we just wanted to be a good neighbor. Right, a good neighbor to our customers, a good neighbor to potential uh, customers and to our partners. And uh, what we did is we came out with um, uh, a couple of different solutions. One of them was on our uh, Cisco WebEx meetings and also on our CT Cloud Voice, which is uh, powered by Zoom as well. What we did is we just told customers and potential customers, if you guys want it, we'll give you the licenses now through the end of June. Uh, no obligation, no contract, we just need a company name, uh, username and email just so we could set up the individuals uh, com uh, correctly in our system and we could activate them usually within about 24 hours and it, I think the community overall even the intelligence community has been really um, excited and, and really grateful that we've been able to do 
uh, some type of solution out there like that for our customers and potential customers, just because we're just trying to help out our neighbors. That's yep. really what it's about. Uh, so we've been doing that. We've also on Microsoft Teams. Uh, we're also doing something similar with the direct routing part of it. So it's not the Office 365 license, uh, but it winds up being in the direct routing. So the voice component of it, we are also providing that to uh, to our customers free at no cost through June 30th. So uh, we're doing some pretty good analysis right now over the next 90 days or so just to kind of see where things are going. Obviously monitoring this pandemic that's out there overall, but first yep. and foremost is let's help out our neighbors. I love it. I love it. And I, I know you guys are a huge Microsoft shop. You can do a lot of different things on that front. Tell us a little bit more about um, the Microsoft Teams direct routing option for our partners. Sure, sure. Well, a couple of exciting things about Teams. Uh, if you look at the numbers on Microsoft Teams and who's been using it uh, over the past several uh, months and even the last year, they they surpassed the 20 million mark uh, sometime right around the end of 2019. And that number has doubled. Uh, here in the past three months. Uh, and that's really just because of this pandemic uh, that's out there. What we did, we were kind of a little bit ahead of the curve on it because of the fact that we were doing and have been doing Skype for Business and even Link, Voice and Able Link, uh, back in the uh, early 2012, 2013 timeframe. We were able to understand exactly what are some of the strengths that a voice component with Microsoft would have and what are some of the limitations that they have, like contact center, CRM integrations, um, receptionist council, paging, faxing, door buzzers, different things like that that really just round out a solution uh, for one of our customers. So we've been able to kind of stay ahead of that curve. And with Microsoft Teams, since we launched it back in November of 2018, we're probably bringing on about eight to 10 customers uh, a month. We have somewhere probably around six or 7,000 users already on the platform with another six or 7,000 users. Uh, that we're currently in the process of onboarding right now. So we're turning them up as quickly uh, as we can. And at the same time, understanding that customers are looking for not just the voice with Teams, but also getting them to understand exactly how to use it and the uh, adoption that is needed within the organization. Because marketing is going to use it a little bit different than sales. Mm -hmm. Sales is going to use it a little bit different than accounting, than support and development and engineering, et cetera. So making sure that we can build those personas uh, for each one of the different um, departments within the organization. Right, great, great. Guys, there you have it. William, thank you for joining us. Really appreciate the input from the Call Tower team. Join them for their town hall on April 14th to learn more about their virtual solutions. Stay safe and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.